In this video, I'm going to take a big, large, horrible init.lua file, which I've been using for my NeoVim configuration up to this point, and I split it up into separate files for each of the plugins that I'm using, and then use the Packer plugin to configure each of those plugins and smash it all together into back into one config. Hopefully, that's going to give me an easier to maintain setup as I move forward. So, as I mentioned just then, since I started using NeoVim again about six months ago, I've been adding to a single init.lua file. And as I've added more plugins, hashed stuff around, changed mappings and options, this file has grown and grown and grown into a behemoth of about 600, 700 lines. And each time that I wanted to make a change to, the, to that config at all, I had to scroll up and down this massive big file or you know, just use search to find a particular keyword where I, needed, I knew I needed to make the changes. That's worked fine up until this point, but I've started to feel it creaking um, you know, and, and feeling a bit horrible to work with. So the first thing that I've done is I split out all my mappings and all the options and I put those into two separate Lua files and then just called them from that original init.lua at the appropriate place where they were before. And that was okay, it was a sort of minor concession to, to being a bit more um, user friendly. But I was still left with a 500 line plus init Lua plus a 170 something line mapping file, or 112. It was a big file. And about a 40 to 50 line options Lua file. It was better, but it was still not great. And I was loading all my packages with uh, the pack plugin manager, which is absolutely fine. And it's very lightweight, very fast but it doesn't give you any kind of feedback about plugins when you update them. It just tells you that they've been updated. You also, it's not particularly great at feeding back to you when you're doing something stupid, which is something I need. The crux of this is just to tell you that I needed to roll my sleeves up, be a grown up, and come up with a better way of managing my, my init for, for near them. So I've been poking around other people's um, dot .files, configs for, for, for near them, looking at how other people have done it. And I was trying to find the right balance between simplicity and modularity. Now, the approach that I'm about to show you is based largely on this set of configs that are found by a guy called Michael Petter. I think it's Petter, it's German. Um, apologies, Michael, if I've mispronounced that. Um, but the basic idea is you're gonna have three files in your init.lua, and they're basically to call plugins, mappings, and options. And plugins is just going to be the file that Packer uses to load and configure all the various plugins. The plugins themselves are going to live in a subdirectory of Lua called setup. And so for each of those plugins, we're going to have a separate file called telescope.lua or outline.lua or cmp.lua. The reason I'm highlighting the author of this approach is because anything that you consider smart in this approach, you can almost guarantee has come from Michael. Anything stupid and, and cack handed is almost certainly something that I've introduced. The basic idea is that we're going to have an init Lua file, and that's simply going to require three other files, plugins, options, and mappings. Now the plugins file is going to be the main file, which is going to use Packer to require all the various plugins. And then each plugin is going to get its own setup file, which is going to live inside a subfolder called setup. So for example, all the setup for telescope is inside a file at .config slash nvim slash Lua slash setup slash telescope .lua. All the config for Lua line is basically the same, but it's in setup slash Lua line, and on and on and on for each of the plugins. And I've only really gone for Packer because in this case, it's whilst it's weightier, it does add a few extras and graphical niceties. The contents of those per plugin setup files is the same as it would have been when they were in my single file before. So while the config for something like Telescope may be running to sort of 100 lines, the setup for something like auto pairs, for example, is as simple as one line. It's just require NVIM auto pairs and then setup. But the point is by giving each plugin that you use, regardless of how much setup that it needs, if it's even just one line, it gets its own file. That keeps things at least predictable. We then use the config option inside Packer for the most part to associate each plugin with that associated setup file. So in the plugins file, some plugin setups are far more complicated than others. So for example, this is what the one looks like for, for comp. So you can see there that uh, you've got the main plugin request, but then you've also got a requires map, which lets you specify all the other plugins that that first plugin needs to run. 
and Packer is smart enough to deduce which plugins it already has from another plugin in which it needs to go and get. The little function there that I'm using basically just returns a string of require setup slash and then whatever it is I've passed into that function as an argument. Now you understand the basic premise, I'm gonna now skip across into NeoVim, make these files, make these changes, copy the code across. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit through that in real time. I'll speed it all up so you can see this in fast motion and then I'll come back to some pointers that I think I've learned along the way. If you look here at the at the end of this packet configuration, which is in the, the plugins file, there's a few little nice to haves. So for example, I followed the readme there and set it so that you get a nice floating window, um, which I'll show you in a moment when we load it up for the first time. This startup is pretty rapid, but I've enabled the profile in this setup as well, just so that I can maybe start looking at optimizing the startup times by lazy loading different plugins and stuff. The other thing that I did think about doing is I also robbed quite shamelessly and somebody had made it a good alpha um, config for the startup screen, which I've taken and amended just slightly. Um, but I thought it might also be nice there to put a startup time based on this value. So that's perhaps something I'll do uh, another time. So you're gonna see me now starting this config for the first time. Every plugin manager I've ever used promises this ability to bootstrap things on a fresh install. And the, but the reality is the first time I did this with this new split up config, it basically just blew up two or three times. And, and every time I had to sort of go back and forth ironing out little errors that I'd made in the, the config and in the Lua files. And eventually it did load up and it, it brought up the screen and, and ran all the plugins. But I think it's safer to assume that the first time you, you run it, it's going to blow up. There's going to be problems. There's going to be little lure errors, and you just need to sort of track those down to whatever's causing it. Um, it took a bit of time, probably a couple of hours, going through the various bugs that I'd introduced myself. But ultimately, it now runs very nicely, does this lovely sort of update, and it's a good config. One part of Packer I do particularly like is that it does this um, when a, a plugin updates you get this nice sort of little short bit from the the git repo of the last changes that were done so on pack you would just update things and you'd know that package is updated but you didn't really know what had changed whereas this way you're getting just a little bit of feedback so you know hopefully if there's a bug you're tracking whether it's been fixed or not another cool thing about packer is that it'll warn you if you've included a plugin multiple times which is something that i did about 456 times the first time i was setting it up so it was very helpful to know so here we go, this is with it all loaded up now. We've got this nice start screen. From the start screen, I can open the telescope um, session manager, which will sort of let me easily switch sessions. I can also do a quick leader U to just update my plugins from that home screen as well. And there's a few other little reminders in there of what I can do from that start screen. Hopefully this video is useful if you are considering tidying up your Lua config as well. If it was useful, Please give it a like, it really helps other people find these videos, so I'm told. Subscribe if you want more keyboard, vim, tech, web stuff. Also, if you've seen I've made a completely boneheaded mistake here, please let me know in the comments below. Any feedback, greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'll see you again sometime.